this video I am going to explain you about the molecular orbital energy diagram of the benzene molecule and this particular video is the extension of molecular orbital theory of benzene which I have uh, explained in the part 1 of MOT of benzene. So before going to watch this particular video please do watch that video in that particular video I have clearly explained about uh, the basics which are required uh, to draw the molecular orbital energy diagram of benzene molecule. So let us try to recapitulate, let us try to recapitulate uh, what are the basics. So basic uh, relation I gave to you, right? So basic relation between the node and the energy. So that is the one which is the driving force in order to draw the molecular orbital energy diagram of any of the molecule that is node is directly proportional to energy. The node is the one which decides the energy level of the molecular orbital and node is directly proportional to energy and as we move up what will happen to the energy as we move up energy will increase as we move up energy will increase. Now based on that particular relationship between node and the energy we are going to discuss about uh, this molecular orbital energy diagram of uh, benzene and if you are not going to watch that particular video so definitely there will be a lot of ambiguity in this video right okay now already I have explained in the previous video that the benzene molecule comprises the 6 pi electrons means the 6 p electrons because the 6 pi electrons are a part of 6 p orbitals of the benzene molecule hence p electrons hence 6 p atomic orbitals hence 6 molecular orbitals now these are the 6 electrons now this is the non-bonding line, this is the non-bonding line and whatever the molecular orbitals which are being placed, uh, which are occupying the lowest energy level of non-bonding line or uh, bonding molecular orbitals and whatever the molecular orbitals which are occupying the highest energy level are called as anti-bonding molecular orbitals with respect to the non-bonding line. So accordingly, whatever the bonding or molecular orbitals which are below the non-bonding line or bonding molecular orbitals and whatever the molecular orbitals which are above the non-bonding line or anti-bonding molecular orbitals. Now this is one of the molecular orbital of the benzene which is labeled as Psi1 and this is the second one which is labeled as Psi2. This is the third molecular orbital of the benzene labeled as Psi3, fourth labeled as Psi4, fifth labeled as Psi5 and sixth is labeled as Psi6. Now the Psi1 molecular orbital is occupying the lowest energy level. It is occupying the lowest energy level means what? Um, the number of nodes present in it are zero. That is there is no node in this particular molecular orbital which is occupying the lowest energy level of molecular orbital energy diagram of benzene molecule because node is directly proportional to energy. So we can say that uh, there will be no node in this particular molecular orbital which is occupying the lowest uh, energy level of this MOED of benzene. So now let us try to write the lobes. Let us try to write the lobes. So lobe 1, lobe 2, lobe 3, lobe 4, lobe 5 and lobe 6 because 6 carbons are there. So 6 lobes are there. Now number of nodes. So already I have said node is directly proportional to energy and as it is occupying the lowest energy level the number of nodes associated with this 
lowest occupied the molecular orbital is zero that is node is zero node is zero so what do you mean by node is zero 